guys, it's Cutie. Today I'm back here in Adopt Me and I seen that you guys really, really liked my build. So I was gonna start a series if you guys would like this. So I'm gonna build all my friends a house. I'm gonna start with Santa. Um, of course, if you can't tell by the big mushroom in the back. But if you guys like videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe and press notification bell for more. Alright, so today I thought it'd be a great idea to start a new series, like I said previously, and of course I'm gonna start with the amazing I Am Santa. Um, we all know that she loves mushrooms so much, so I thought, hmm, it'd be a perfect house for her, it would be a mushroom, of course. So I went and bought the mushroom and I changed it pink and I already started in here. I deleted all of the, uh, um... Like the default items that come with the house and I changed the walls and I just made it more of Santa's aesthetic. Um, I have a layout going on. Up here is going to be her bedroom and I'm going to put like a little office area over here. You go down here, this will be her kitchen area slash dining. This is going to be a little room for vegetable because you already know I have to include all of the pets. And then this will be her living area, like her living room. And I will make this a bathroom. Hmm. Should I start... Upstairs, should I start downstairs? I don't know. I'm kind of excited for this house because I really, really like this so far. I think it looks really, really pretty. Hmm. Let's start... Ooh, let's start upstairs. Why not? Start in her bedroom. Uh, I guess I could start with the office. I'm gonna need a desk. So I'm gonna make this one different than I normally do. I'll make this one out of counters. Let's see. Should I put it in this corner? Should I move it over a little bit? Hmm. Let's make a big desk. Let's put it like this. All right, just like that. I think that looks cool. And then I'll make it her favorite color, pink, of course. And I'm gonna need to put a barrier with some boards on the top here so I can make it an actual desk and make them connect. <laughs> but I will do that. Let's put a barrier like this, move it up a little bit more. Perfect. And then you go ahead, grab some boards, just like this, awesome. Then I need to get the white that's closest to the white that's on the counters, and I think it's the middle white. Yeah, I think that one looks good. And then I gotta do it to the other side. I wanna make sure that they're even. We'll say right there, perfect. All right, just like that, that looks awesome. Um, I kinda wanna have a cool mirror. I've never tried this before, but I wonder what will happen if I put a makeup bench behind there. I think that looks kinda cool, I actually like that. All right. Um, of course she's gonna need a laptop because I mean this is her like getting ready area slash recording studio So she's gonna need a computer. I'll just put it over here and I'll grab her little microphone Awesome, just like that and she needs a few other things on this side Maybe I'll grab her some books make this a little bookshelf area over here too. I could do that Awesome, just like that. I think that looks perfect. Now I'll put a little rug under here, just like this. Do I like this one? Or should I use a little fluffy one? I might go for this one. I think I like this one better. Oops, not the unicorn. Perfect, just like that. Okay, I'm really, really liking this so far. I'm gonna put a little bookshelf over here to fill this little wall area. shelf looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe I could put a little seat right here so she could actually sit and read. Let me grab a chair. Hmm, which chair should I use? The futuristic one's pretty cool, but I don't think I could change the color of how, it I, how I'd exactly want it to be. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what else they have first. These cloud chairs are always super, super cute. I might do a cloud chair, actually. I'm sorry, futuristic chair. I really do like the look of the cloud chairs. Now she needs a table. We'll get her a little glass table. I love these tables. They go great with everything. Uh, I might change the color to pink. 
Perfect. And we'll put a little few books on this table just so it adds something. A little spice. All right, perfect, just like that. Okay, this looks so cute so far. Can I have this for my main house, actually? Could I, uh, could I claim this for myself? Oh, this looks really, really cool. Okay, now I'm gonna put her bed on this side of the wall. Um, which bed should I use is the question. I think I have an idea. I can't use the bunny bed as much as I would just love to give her a bunny bed, but I think I have an idea of what I want to do. All right, I think this looks perfect, except I'd like to have a little bit more pink on here. It does look a little uh, bare with the pink, I mean the white on the white with the pillows. I'd love to have some pink pillows. I'm gonna see if I can make some out of books maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a barrier. I just feel like it needs a little bit of extra something. Um, let's move it like this. Um, let's see, can I get a book? I don't know if it's gonna look right. We might have to delete it. Position it like this? I don't know if I like that. Um, I actually didn't end up needing the barrier. I could just put the book um, on the discs that I have behind here. Let's see. I guess that doesn't look too, too bad. It kind of looks like eyes a little bit. <laughs> I don't want it to look like eyes, but it kind of does. That's okay. Um, she's gonna need some nightstand, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the same counters that I used for her desk. I'll put them like this and make them pink. Awesome. And then she's gonna need a few lamps, of course. And what better lamp to use than the unicorn lamp? Because she is I Am Santa. Awesome, just like that. Okay, this is looking really, really cute. I just keep looking at the room all around because I just love it and I just want to stare at it. Oh no, okay. Um, I want to see if I could fit the big rainbow somewhere. It might be too big. Hmm, I mean, I could put it above here, but it is kind of glitching out of the roof a little bit. Um... I don't know. I'd say it still looks pretty cute. I might leave it there. Even though it is glitching, I think I still like it. Just need to make sure it's centered. All right, right there. I think that's perfect. And then I know these are for babies, but I really like these blocks because I feel like they fit um, her room. So I'm going to go ahead and put them anyway. Just like that. I think those look really, really cute. And maybe I could put a few clouds on her wall. Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just not loving any of these placements that I'm putting. Maybe over here? Okay, I kind of like them up there, actually. I'm gonna leave them right there, and I probably should put a unicorn lamp over here. I just thought about that. I'm gonna go ahead and put down a unicorn lamp. Just like that. Okay, awesome. Hmm, she needs something over here. Maybe a dresser. I'm gonna go ahead and make a custom one. Uh, I'm gonna use it out of blocks. We'll put it right here. Okay, I have these blocks up here like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab two signs just like this. I'll put one here and then I'll put one here. And then I'll change the text just to a few underscores just like this and just like this. Perfect. And then I just need to center them and change the color. Okay, I think that looks really, really cute. I, okay, I really, really like this so far. But she needs some kind of like TV, I feel like. And she needs to be able to watch her favorite shows. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make a custom little table just because I like the aesthetic that's going on here. A lot of this stuff's custom and it might take me a while, but it's worth it, she deserves it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna build this little, I guess you would call it a little table, a little coffee table at the end of her bed. I wanna make sure it's even, of course. All right, perfect, just like that. And then I'm gonna put a futuristic TV on here. Those ones are my favorite. Awesome, okay, that looks so cool. I really, really like this, but it needs something on this wall. It's very bare. Um, I don't know, should I leave it like that? I kinda like uh, the more minimalistic look. Like, I think this looks kinda cool so far. I don't think I really need anything else besides some lights. It is kinda dark in here, hmm. All right, I just put a few lights on the ceiling. Um, but I was thinking, I really like these standing mirrors and she obviously needs a standing mirror because she needs to be able to look at her outfits before she walks out of the house. Um, I don't know if I should put it over here like this or if I should put it on this side by her wardrobe. Hmm, I could put it right here. This could fill the empty space. This is perfect. All right, 
I think her room is officially done. We can go ahead and head downstairs. I think this looks so cute. I'm really happy with this. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna go down here. This is gonna be her kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some counters. I really, really like the look of these ones. Should I make it gray? Hmm. I could make it gray. I'm gonna move it down some more though. Yeah, I think I like the gray. I'm gonna keep it. It looks nice and fancy. I think it'd be Santa approved if I don't say so myself. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I think this is looking very, very, very cute. Um, we got a nice kitchen going on. Uh, I'm just gonna give her some tea because I know that Santa loves her tea. And some donuts. Give her a nice little donut oven right here in the corner. And we'll put her donuts right here. Awesome, okay, this looks really, really cute. Um, I need something for this corner. I might give her a little, little table. Let's go ahead and we're gonna grab her a chair first. We'll use the curved chair, I really like these. Just like that, and then my glass table. Perfect, okay. Now she has a little place to sit and eat her um, donuts and drink her coffee. Her coffee, I mean her tea, if she doesn't wanna sit at the bar stools that I have over here. She has a little bit of a variety. Um, I'll put some candles on this though, just so it doesn't look so empty. Perfect, okay, awesome. Um, I think this looks okay, I mean it is a little empty. But I think I, like I said earlier, I like that aesthetic. It looks very minimalistic. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to come in here and this is going to be vegetables room. So we'll just build, I'm going to build him a little ledge so he could sit on here. Maybe bake his bed on here. I just called vegetable a boy. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't know if vegetables are boy or a girl. Um, I'll just put a bed bed down. Of course, the rectangular one. That one is my favorite. Just like that. Awesome. And then, hmm, I need something for the sides. I mean, I guess I can give him a few unicorn lamps because this is vegetable. Perfect. And then I'm going to give him a little rug down here. I keep calling it a him. I'm sorry. I'm so used to calling carrot he. Awesome. And then we'll just put some mirrors up. Of course, we're going to need a, fo uh, a food bowl too. All right, I think this looks nice and good. It serves its purpose. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move downstairs into the living room. We're almost done with this already. Um, I feel like I built this pretty fast. I really, really like it. I think it looks very, very, very cute. And I'm sure Santa's gonna love it. so far I got a nice little sofa over here and the shelf with the TV some more books and some more books over here a nice little mirror and a little seating area so she could take her shoes off when she comes in the house um I might slap a little rug down here maybe a little uh I think they're called a crate so she could actually put her shoes in there let's see I think they are called a crate yes this thing put that right what guess we could put it over here perfect all right, the last room we have to do is the bathroom and then we are done and then we can give it a little tour um, I'm so excited. I am very 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 proud of this build. I'm actually really enjoying this I hope you guys enjoy the series as much as I'm going to. All right, we got her a nice little sink I gave her a double sink um, I can actually switch these two out, but that's okay. I'll leave them right next to each other 
give her a nice little mirror, of course. And we'll give her some towels. And then over here, we'll give her a nice like, unicorn lamp because it just turned night and I can't see. Just like that. And I probably need to put some out here. I don't think I put any. I could put one on this shelf. And I could put some over here on this shelf too. If I could get over there, keep hitting the couch. <laughs> Just like that. Awesome. Oh, I guess I could put a little pet bed under here too for a uh, vegetable as well. Yes, I like that better. It adds a little something in that corner. All right, let's go ahead and head back in here. Um, she's gonna need a shower, of course. Let's go ahead and give her a shower. Um, I could use the modern one. I don't think I've ever really used this one before yet. I actually kind of like that one. I mean, it's a little small, but that's okay. It does the job. I don't know if I should put it over there or if I should put it like here. I actually kind of like it there. That way I could put the toilet over here. And I actually might make this wall pink as well. Just to give it a little bit more character in here. All right, I think that looks awesome. Um, it does look a little bare though. So I'm going to put a shelf up here. Lots and lots of shelves in this build. That's okay. Put some more towels on here so she has plenty. She doesn't have to worry about running out. Awesome, just like that. And then I'll put a few more candles so it smells nice and delicious. I think this bathroom is complete. Now we can go outside. And of course, if you know me, I love to give the full effect. So I come outside and we're gonna look at the outside. Of course, it's the beautiful mushroom. All right, ready? Are you ready? I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. So you walk into the house and you walk straight into the beautiful living room with the nice TV and all the books. And over here is the bathroom that we just completed. And then you would come upstairs and we have the nice kitchen area where you could eat some donuts. You could grab some donuts and cook them, of course. And then you can grab a teacup and fill your tea. You can have some nice tea and uh, donuts while I wait. Uh oh, it took away my tea when it gave me my donut. That's okay. This donut's really, really big. It's like as big as my face. <laughs> Awesome, and she could sit here, she could sit here, or she could sit over here. A lot of options, and then you come in here, and you have a nice room for a vegetable. Of course, you can't forget vegetable, and then you come upstairs to her bedroom, which I love, and she has a nice little makeup area and little recording office, some more books, um, a nice little area to read those books, and of course her bed, um, and she could lay in bed and watch TV at the same time. Who would want to do that, am I right? And of course, you can't forget her wardrobe, so she could um, look very, very beautiful every single day. And I think that is complete. I think this is her house. I really, really like it. Um, I hope you guys like it too. Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, if you like this video and you'd like to see me decorate more houses for my friends, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!